In today's video, we will learn how to install WordPress on a virtual private server. For the ease of access, I have placed links on top of the description, so you can start there. We will use Namecheap for domain registration, Cloudflare for DNS and SSL certificate, and we will set up VPS on Vulture. Let's get started. Domain registration is a straightforward process. First, make sure to sign up if you don't have an account. Since I have one, I'm going to sign in. We can enter the domain name we would like to register and click on search. If the domain is available, we will click on add to cart and then check out. Here, we can set the registration period and toggle the automatic renewal. You should keep the domain privacy enabled. Now, we can click on confirm order. This is where we can set our payment details and click on pay now. Since I already have an unused domain in my account, I will not continue with this purchase. Once you have registered your domain, we can go to our accounts dashboard or domain list. I will be using techuptrend.com as an example. We will click on manage and stay on this page as we will have to update our name servers later. Now we will go to Cloudflare in our second tab. Similarly to Namecheap, if you don't have an account, make sure you sign up. Since I have one, I will click on login and enter my information. We will click on add a site. Enter the domain name and click on continue. We will select the free plan and click on continue. Cloudflare will scan to see if there are already some DNS records set up for the domain with the previous provider. Since the domain is new, there should be none listed. And we will add DNS records later. We can click on continue and confirm. Now we will update the domain name servers so we can use Cloudflare services. I will click on copy and navigate to the Namecheap tab. Next to name servers, we will select custom DNS and paste on the first name server. Similarly, we can repeat the process for the second one. We will click on the green check mark to save the changes. Namecheap informs us that the DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect, but it usually takes up to 30 minutes. We can close this tab. We will click on continue and finish later. Here we can scroll down and click on check name servers now. Even though they say it can take up to 24 hours, it usually takes around 10 minutes. You will receive an email like this. Once the update takes place, we can refresh the page and see the message that Cloudflare is now protecting the site. On the left side, we will click on DNS and stay on this page, as we will have to add our records once we set up the VPS. Now we can click on the Vulture tab. If you don't have an account and you sign up through my link, you will receive a hundred dollars worth of credit to test the platform. I will click on login, enter my information, and click on the button. On the left side, we will click on products and compute if you are not already there. After that, we can click on deploy. We will choose cloud compute shared CPU. When choosing a server location, you can go about it in a couple of ways. First, you can select the one closest to you, or you can select the one closest to your page visitors. Either way, you will not go wrong, since Vulture servers are quite fast. I will choose Frankfurt. Here, we will click on Marketplace Apps, search for WordPress, and select it. I recommend going with a high frequency plan, since it slightly outperformed the other plans in the benchmarks. Either way, any of these will do, but I do not recommend a regular cloud compute, since it uses standard SSDs. I will select the first plan. We can disable auto backups. 
and enable IPv6 address. This is optional. I will enter my email here and the blog title. For hostname, I recommend using your domain name. We can click on Deploy Now. The installation can take up to 10 minutes. After it's finished, we will click on it. Now, we can copy the IP address and paste it into a new tab. Or, under WordPress details, we can access the instance. I will click on the middle mouse button to open it in a new tab. Since our VPS is freshly installed and doesn't have an SSL certificate, we will receive a warning message. We can simply go to Advanced and click on Proceed. This is our default WordPress installation. Now we will close this tab, scroll down to the Configuration and Administration, copy the username, and access the WordPress Administration panel by clicking on the link. I will paste the username, go back to the Vulture tab, and copy the password as well. On the left side, we will hover over Settings, click on General, and stay on this page. Now, we are going to update the DNS records on Cloudflare to point to our VPS. On Vulture, I will copy the IP address and head over to the Cloudflare tab. We will click on Add Record. For A record, we will type at, paste the IPv4 address, and click on Save. Now we can repeat the process for IPv6 address. Instead of A record, we will select type AAA. We will add a CNAME record as well. In the name field, we will type www. In the target, we will type at and click on Save. Now we can go back to our WordPress Admin tab and change the address to our domain. We will click on Save Changes. There is a possibility that you might receive this privacy error again, but similarly to before, we can click on Advanced and Proceed. Now we will enter our username and password again. We can navigate to the general settings. If you have noticed, we do not get the warning for security reasons anymore, even though we still haven't updated our address to HTTPS. This is because Cloudflare is automatically serving an SSL certificate for our domain. Now we can click on the Cloudflare tab and go to SSL TLS. Here you can see that the encryption mode is set to flexible. This is still unsecure since the data is only encrypted from the browser to Cloudflare, not from Cloudflare to our server. We will select full strict mode, and we can proceed with the certificate installation on the server. On the left side, we will click on Origin Server, and Create Certificate. We can leave everything on default here, and click on Create. We should save a local copy of this key, since it will not be stored at Cloudflare. You can simply open the notepad and copy the content. Now we will go to the Vulture tab and scroll down to Commercial SSL Certificate. Here they provided instructions as to where we need to save the certificate and the private key. To access our server, we can use the console. Press any key, so you will be asked for login information. On the left side, we have our username and password. I will type in root and press enter. This console does not allow straight copy and pasting. So we can copy our password, expand this menu, click on clipboard, paste it, and click on paste. For security reasons, the password will not show, but it's there. We will close the menu and press enter. We have successfully logged into our server.
Now, as you can see, this console is not quite user friendly, so I will rather SSH into my server via PowerShell. I will press Ctrl D to exit the terminal, and I will close this window. Here, I have just organized the layout of my windows. In the PowerShell, I will type ssh root at copy and paste the address and hit enter. I will type yes and copy the password as well. Nice, I am logged into the server. I will type clear to clear the screen. Now, I will change the directory to etsy nginx ssl. I will type ls to list files. We can see that there are already two files present. I will type rm server.crt and server.key to remove them. If I type ls again, there will be no files listed. I will use vim editor to create files, so I will type vim server.crt and press enter. Here, I will copy and paste the origin certificate. To save this file with Vim Editor, I will type colon, wq, and press enter. We can repeat the process for server.key as well. Instead of typing ls, I can use ll, which stands for long listing. And here we can see that our files are created. Now, if we check Vulture, we can see that they recommend rebooting the server after installing these certificates. I will type reboot, and my SSH session will be automatically closed. We will go to Cloudflare and click on OK. On the left side, we will navigate to the Edge certificates. We can scroll down, toggle on Always Use HTTPS, and make sure that the automatic HTTPS rewrites are enabled. In the final step, we will go to the WordPress Admin tab, add HTTPS to our address, and click on Save Changes. After that, you are free to start migrating or building your website. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to join our community, check out patreon.com/catones. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.